Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 10 of my Fallout 4 mod feature series. This is going to be looking at some of the best mods, or my picks of the best mods, from the last two weeks. It's kind of a link to episode 9 as well, so if you haven't seen that episode yet, please do go ahead and watch that as well. So jumping in first, we have the fantastic Dog Meets Backpack. Now, I really, really like this mod. It brings a whole new purpose and perspective to using dog meat as a follower. He can now carry more items because there is different size backpacks, 50 and 150 and 100 carry weight addition for dog meat. Makes him more useful and to be honest the backpack looks pretty damn good on him. Now it will take away that all important armor slot if you do use armor for dog meat. You can see here I can only put the Brotherhood of Steel helmet on and not the actual armor body piece. However, it is a nice addition to have over having armor because to be honest, he doesn't really need it and this is far more useful. So if you feel like packing out dog meat with more stuff, then this may be a mod that you want to take a look at. This next mod then is for those of you who like to add a lot of clutter and items to their settlements and really make them feel a lot more homely. And this is Craftable Flower Pots for Your Settlements by Eleonora. There's a variety of flowers to pick from here. However, you won't be able to pick a certain pot with a certain flower. You'll just get the flower and the pot combined. So you won't, for example, have this fern in a clay pot. It will only be available in this metal type one here. That's not a massive gripe for me though, this mod adds a lot of colour to the settlements and really does make them feel more homely. I would like to see more plants and more plant pots added via this mod just to bring out the level of customization and the variety that you can have in your settlement. Plus, there are a few plants in here that I'm not a massive fan of. The next mod is particularly useful if you have Nick Valentine as a follower and it's called Valentine Reborn. Basically it is a massive texture overhaul for Nick Valentine's face and for several of the synths throughout the game. You can pick and choose what type of style that you want. I've gone for the generic default one here as it's my favourite out of the lot. I like the nice blue eyes that it provides for Nick and really it does look a hell of a lot better than the vanilla game. Now in my settlements I store a lot of random crap in a lot of random places and this mod, where did I put that, allows me to craft little sticky notes and place them on several containers just to remind me what I've placed in there. The ones that I find particularly useful are the ones like this that say to save on them as I like to store some items and bits of junk in certain locations to save up to craft a particular item or particular weapon. It's not the most ideal container labeling system that there is, however it does fit really nicely into the game and kind of fits the same style that some of the containers etc already have. Personally if you use things like OCD Decorator and other settlement mods then you'll probably enjoy this one as well and I do recommend you try it out for yourself. Last up in this video, we're going to take a look at the Wasteland Veteran outfit. Now, I really like this outfit. It's more of a clothing piece than an armor piece, though. It is very casual, and I prefer to use it while walking around a settlement, doing a bit of crafting here and there, and talking to my settlement followers, etc. It's not something I would wear out in the Commonwealth itself or go on missions while wearing it. The mod is available for both male and female characters. Now the textures that you're seeing on it are actually quite good in game. They don't probably look as good as they could do on this video. However, in game they are far better than vanilla textures. As you can actually see the detail on the belt buckles, etc. Whereas in the vanilla game, those would be pretty damn blurred and would look pretty horrible close up. 
So that's your lot for episode 10. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you've liked any of the mods that I've shown, please do head down to the description where you'll find links to the mod pages. Remember to endorse any mods that you use and vote for any mod that you think deserves mod of the month. As always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.